daughter and take a picture before the game began. And, uh, he's a proud father. And, and, you know, I think we are all learning so much more about food and our choices. And so um, I'm learning more about what it means to be a vegan. Not quite ready to go that far, but I just think the education is important. I'm happy that the Big Three has really taken that initiative to bring it the awareness. The second half underway as Gatson missing for the Ghost Ballers. Ricky Davis is 41. Gatson from behind is caught for the foul. I think a great theme in the Big Three, and you see it with your players getting ready for games with the triplets. Guys take such great pride being in shape, working hard, and still being able to play at an elite level into the 40s, in Montpellier's case, into his 50s. Absolutely, and you know, I spoke with Gilbert Arenas, who talked about his team understanding the importance of giving you but not just showing up thinking you're going to play three on three uh you know basketball without practicing without taking care of your body and he said he told his team how joe johnson works out and does hot yoga and how he's always in the gym and then finding time to play basketball with his teammates or how catino also gets his teammates together they've started practicing during the summer and it is important how you take care of your body as these guys age is so important and it makes a difference you can, and you can see it out there especially when you get to the second half huge now the enemies they're the youngest team in the big three and a lot of new faces including isaiah austin 27 years old many remember that he was a great player at baylor and declared for the nba draft in 2014 Isaiah Austin diagnosed with Marfan syndrome after declaring for the NBA draft a genetic disorder that affects the body's connective tissue. But here he is now a number one pick in the big three super draft as Taylor gets another jump. Yeah, and it's great to see Isaiah have the opportunity to get out here. We'll see. You never know. There's been, you know, Joe had an opportunity. Joe Johnson led us to go and try out with the Detroit uh, Pistons in the NBA. And it would be great for any player who's played for this big three that's young enough that has the, the talent that and Isaiah Austin does to have the opportunity to get into the NBA. And we would love to see that happen for him. Taking over the summer, season four, the big three. And the guy who's taken over this game has been Mike Taylor. Lisa, with 19 points now to lead the Ghost Ballers. Uh, Mike Taylor is just, I mean, it's unbelievable that he did not mm -hmm. play in the NBA because he has so much skill, talent, and his energy. And he talked about how blessed he just feels to be able to play in front of his kids still and his family, you know, here. <laughs> Obviously, he told me oh, to give a shout out to the Milwaukee Bucks. You know, he's a Milwaukee guy. Um, and also this Tuesday, July 20th, in Milwaukee, Milwaukee at the McGovern Park, guys. He has something for kids, the starting kids ages 5 to 14, 3 on 3. They're teaching basic fundamentals, so make sure you guys uh, check that out. You can go to Taylor May Foundation 414, 414.org to find out more. There's that during the day. Then you go to the Deer District at night. There you go. Always a party. for getting <laughs> six. It is a big basketball Tuesday in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Ghost Rollers with it and a six point lead. Work inside out. Gasson. Teardrop is good. Around and through for Shane Gasson. That was a really nice move, and he had to take it slow because you know Austin was coming for the block. Gasson turned 41 yesterday. And you can see the Ghost Ballers really have a mismatch with Austin out there uh, with Gasson, but hey, that's what you want to see the big man do, turn and shoot off the top. Oh, wipe it off. Taylor, not happy. Dave Posner emphatic in saying that the foul came before the shot. Definitely, that was a great call, and I know <laughs> he's... I know uh, Taylor's over there fussing about it, but here, this is a nice drive on the inside. Taylor wanted that basket, but it didn't count. Denied by Young, in midair, put back no. Johnson, Jordan, Foose. But Rhino, Craig Smith, could not keep it on the deck. And Craig Smith, he really has to take a look at himself. I don't know that he's quite ready. And I remember him being so much more effective, being able to knock down threes. And he's it's constantly, he's, that's the second or third loose ball that he did to come up with. Stewart with the finish and the foul. Going right at the big fella. And what a game.
in spots for the former Trojan, Elijah Stewart. And Stewart really just balling. I love the way that he used his body. He knows that Chris is a great shot blocker. He uses his body to shield Chris from being able to even reach over the top. And he's at the free throw for an and one. Born in Louisiana and out of Westchester High School in Los Angeles. Austin, second chance. Johnson with the block. Taylor, hop step, in a trap and stolen. And Young couldn't finish. Craig Smith, tees and buries it. Now that's the Craig Smith I'm used to seeing. The guy who can get out there and knock down the three ball, but being really, uh, you know, physical on the inside. It's interesting because the mismatch here is that has, keeps happening when they switch puts the bigs in a tough spot. Here you have Smith trying to guard Nick Young. And Nick Young's not able to capitalize. Shots and fouls. Look at a two-point shot. But the benefit if you're a big guy and a shot does not hit the rim, you go right back up. You don't need to clear it. That is a huge benefit. And sometimes it takes a guy, the big guy, a, a, a second for whatever reason to adjust to an air ball, like turn and dunk it, <laughs> you know? And, and sometimes they'll start to clear it when that's a, a can be a missed opportunity if you don't react fast enough. Quite a few free throws missed here as well. When you know you get two points for that one. Every free throw is really important, especially down the stretch. Smith to Taylor. On the switch, gets by Austin. Didn't hit the rim. That's a shot clock violation. That was a good defensive possession for the enemies.